can any child be kept away from playing? It's impossible. Children are fond of playing. Unlike the past, nowadays children are playing with toys, and these toys have an inexplicable place in their lives. What has happened if a child loses his dear toy? Is anyone be able to make him happy then? Dear students, today we are going to learn a beautiful poem by John Merriman, the Paul poem. John Berryman was an American poet and scholar. He is best known for the Dream Song, which was a sequence of 385 poems. He won Pulitzer Prize for the Dream Song. He also won National Book Award. The poet John Berryman, though his poem, The Paul Poem, has described the reality of life, which everyone has to face one day. He has touched the topic of how to stand up again, the mysteries and sorrows of life. Welcome to my English cap. I hope you will enjoy this video. What is the boy now who has lost his ball? What what is he to do? I saw it go merrily bouncing down the street and then merrily over there it is in the water. The boy is talking about a boy who has lost his ball. He wants to know about him. and his reaction because he has lost his ball further he asked to himself that what this boy will do after losing this ball the boy has seen the ball going away from the boy he says that the ball was cheerfully jumping up and down in the street this means that when the ball skipped from boy's hand it went into the street and later on it fell into the nearby river No use to say or oh, there are other balls an ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy as he stands rigid trembling staring down all his young days into the harbor where his ball went the poet says that there is no benefit of consoling the boy by saying that he will get another ball because he has other balls too He says so because the boy is feeling very sad. He is completely surrounded by sorrow. He is sad because all the memories of the childhood days went down the harbor with the ball. I would not intrude on him. A dime, another ball is worthless. Now he senses first responsibility. Here the poet says that the boy is very sad. as a ball which has now gone into water reminds him of those sweet memories of the times when he owned it this loss is unbearable for him and he is grief stricken the boy says that he can't even tell the boy to take some money from him in order to buy another ball he says so because the new ball will not bring the sense of belonging to the boy further the poet says the time has come for the boy to learn the responsibility of taking care of his things in a world of possessions people will take balls balls will be lost always little boy and no one buys a ball back money is external here the poet says that the boy has to learn that in this materialistic world many of his belongings will be lost He personifies the ball as his belongings, be it the worldly things or the relationship he is in possession of. So, he says that he has to learn to live without them, no matter what. He says no one can buy back such things for him. The poet said so because according to him, money can't buy you everything. If it does buy you some materialistic thing, still it will not be able to buy the sense of belongingness. He is learning well behind his desperate eyes. The epistemology of loss how to stand up knowing what every man must one day know and most know many days how to stand up. He sees that the boy is learning how to stand up against the sense of lost things. This means that boy is trying to learn the real truth of life. which states that you have to accept the mysteries of life and stand up again this is a truth which everyone has to learn in his or her life the harsh truth of standing up 
against the odd mysteries of life that everyone has to bear. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.